this is so freaking crazy. So I seen this meme going around for a few days on Facebook. Been busy doing other stuff. I got a couple glimpses of it. So then I had to really go ahead and break it down. And so what it was, um, this lady here, before I start the screen share, this um officer, uh, Megan Hill, our, what was it, uh, Levin Bean? I don't know where is that. This officer out of Tennessee department was she in? So this police officer was basically a porn star. Now it's weird because she's a police. It's not okay. It's weird on one point. It's weird on one point because she's a police officer doing this. And you automatically assume you know you'll hold doom to a higher standard or whatnot, you know, you just think. But for me, if I'm the guy that worked at plenty of plants and I'm just a heterosexual guy, this is stuff I didn't see firsthand and been through in my life. I know how girls really get down. And you be thinking they all innocent and you know all the, all this good stuff. And when it comes down to it, you'd be like, ooh shit. Now the crazy part, she was actually married. So that even that even changed it up some more. So she was actually married. So um, we're going to start here. Let me do a screen share so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So this lady here, this officer, or well, this ex-police officer, and this is one um, Megan Hall. And they be going through her stuff like, hey, she be having some drinking problems. Anyway, let's say this. She was engaging in some extraferral activities while on a job. Keep in mind, she's married. And I'm talking about she was into some really freaky shit. Now, the whole thing about it, it like I said, a grown woman, she can do what the fuck she want to do. It's weird as hell. But, you know, most women, that's even anywhere attractive is very, very, very promiscuous. This is that's the cool thing. So these took place at hotels, parties, other officer house on a boat, at the police station, in the gym, and this is probably going on for a while. So basically, what it come down to, she was basically a porn star. She was doing threesome. She was getting a choo choo. Ran on her. I mean, the whole it was the, the whole shebang, even the caboose. Put it like that. Now, that'll be fair. I'm a comedian. I'm going to talk my shit or whatever, you know. Okay. So, for the most part, it's not the saying she was a bad officer, you know. I mean, she might do some sexual escapades or whatnot, but that don't necessarily mean she was a bad officer. And so, you know, a couple officers was questioned and they, you know, meant to have sex with her on numerous occasions, which is perfectly fine. You can, you can have sex. <clears throat> you can fuck and suck whoever you want to. And it's consensual. You adults is perfectly fine. The biggest issue they was having, they was doing this when they was on, on the clock. So she was clocked in getting punched out. Put it like that. Um. Uh, now this this now this is that had me crack up. So she's she's having sex with some of the black officers, <clears throat> and she was going around talking. Oh yeah, he had a BBC. Man, this should have me dying. <laughs> I saw this. <laughs> I I I had to watch it up. It's like I, I had to watch it. Go back and say what? So it's a couple officers. It's a ledger. Of, she has sex with and like most people have sex with her know other people was so just like some she she was a nympho you know so now the crazy part is she was married get it she was married so hold on so you already know it been days her husband was at work city came home with 
co-workers or anybody else and you know she was getting you know getting the walls beat in in the house damn what oh lord you know she was getting the walls beat in in the house mm -mm -mm. so you know you got you got the guy running in the neighborhood was probably hitting it oh man the delivery driver got I me mean, she was a freak I talk about giving dudes. It says under question, she said, "I had never had sex with Megan Hall until admitting she said. Until me, she said, hold on. Until admitting, she had performed oral sex on him while on duty when press. The 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 inquest found. Oh, she had sex with him, but she said, I sucked his dick." And then she give me hair like that. They busting in her mouth. And the crazy part, she going home kissing her husband. Oh wow. Oh wow, wow, wow. This is this did get interesting. And this was in Tennessee, and she was in the. Uh, let me see if I say this right. Love burn niche. Love, love burning police department. I don't know, I'm not saying it right. I'm Bush. I'm not trying to do it on purpose. And so. As noted, he had became concerned about Hall's mental health and heavy drinking and driving. Oh, so this, this is a, a police officer that was doing drinking and driving. Man, Tyler Perry can't write this shit any better. The officer said Hall had once pulled the trigger on, on an empty gun and pointed at his temple. Oh, she was playing roulette, too. Oh, this motherfucker right here is a psychopath. So she could hear what it sounded like and said... She, she was suffering from mental illness. I, I can't make that determination. I just think she was a nympho. She was a freak. And she's loved it. I mean, it's, it is what it is. And off mentioned, even in the report, was a Memorial Day party at a boathouse owned by another member of the apartment to which several Officer had brought their children. I don't know why they bring that up, but okay, this, this, uh, now this shit's getting weird. At one point during the party, intoxicated Hall was reportedly being forced fed vodka by what's this at Mag Maglinko in the hot tub. At at which time her top came off, and other cops stopped the former off for drinking and helped her cover up the protector, according. To Durham's account, yeah, and come to my little office around and shot a club up, probably. So Lugo, Powell, and Shields were also dismissed for violating police procedures and lying during the investigation, along with McGowan, who had been witness choking an HR employee. A couple of officers were suspended in connection with the probe. Officer said, "Wow, this is, oh, this this is some some crazy some some crazy 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 shit, crazy shit." So we got so far. She is actually having sex, openly having sex with coworkers, uh, multiple coworkers. I'm talking about, and they. Fucking fucking not like you know, you know, most people might have sex story. I mean, I think you with somebody eight, ten dollars a day, five days a week, a little more, a little less. I mean, shit. You actually spending them, um, spending more time with them than you actually spending with a spouse. So I do Ooh, baby. So, so this says the husband of a Tennessee police officer who was fired after accusations she had sexual 
escapades with multiple male colleagues may not have been supportive of her scandalous lifestyle. An internal investigation carried out by the Los Bernier, Neat, Los Bernier Police Department last month found <clears throat> former patrol officer Megan Hall was having undisclosed sexual relations with multiple male colleagues and cooling random visiting on while on duty the probe led to the firing of five officers including hall and suspension of three officers now you know you've been hiding under the rock for the last um two years or so one thing you'll know about this um this one white female police officer then took down more cops she done took down she got more cops took down and then now whole black life's movement did since it was created and so it was one of the up here she got um 12 percent of a police force wow wow the investigation published december 28 details were uh allegedly paid out at a party when hall allegedly walked in on his wife kissing the wife of the former lavigner patrol office and that's that patrick malago so i can't say that name i'm gonna screw it all up well hall and the wife so she was doing the girls too oh they doing the officer why oh she was a team player i need to be in law enforcement I'm a, I need to join law enforcement. And so Hall's husband came in the room and seemed upset. Now it's rumors are going around the internet that they was in a um her and her husband was in an open relationship. But I mean how but this is embarrassing. Your girl sucking fucking and getting the the choo choo ran on her. He asked about the husband's reactions and was under the impressions from Hall that her marriage was open as well. So it really wasn't an open marriage. She was just a cheating motherfucker. Hey, you know, you do what you want in your sex life. The, the biggest issue they had with it. And what it wasn't like neglected duty, like these officers wasn't doing a job, it's just they was doing this while they was getting paid. That that's the biggest issue that we need to take away. I could be ass on talk shit, but if we're gonna we gonna say something, they gotta be all facts. We just gonna keep it, you know, 100. And so, like I said, he admitted to having sex with Hall on numerous occasions, according to investigation. Jetta Hall is the park ranger in Tennessee. And married his wife in 2018. So, oh, he's been married what, about five years. <clears throat> the Post reported signing Megan Hall Facebook page. Oh, yeah. So she deleted her Facebook page. I don't know. They was clowning her on Facebook. So here, here, here go a picture of a guy you don't want to be right now. I mean, I don't I don't think they had kids together. But you know, let's say they had middle school age kids. Kids is gonna be all in the school, like yo mama's a 304. She was getting ran through by everybody. And the kids ain't gonna have no chill. They go, they go, they're gonna be all in school, you know, just saying everything and anything they possibly can. They not about the kids is about to be the more harder more than the adults is. I read on the internet, your mama was giving fellatio. Oh my god. Um, I don't know. They just going so much. Oh, he grew up swimming in the rivers and made him fall in love with her. Shit, that ain't why they fell in love. That little look, she was putting it down. Man, what what anything sexual wasn't a no. She's like, you want to bring girls, you want to bring another guy, you want to do this position, you want to put it in what? And when it even came to sex, she ain't say no. Ooh, we.
Now I can say, okay, now they're saying, now they have no trust in community. I mean, well, once again, I'll say this. If they was somewhere fucking and somebody got, they couldn't make it to a call or something like that, and then I would go. But like these little towns, and like, like a major city. Now I'm not saying crime don't happen there yet. Crime can happen anywhere. Okay. But woo. Hey, she says she took she took her top off on two separate entities when she uh, uh, allegedly performed oral sex on two male colleagues. This right here, um, this one I'm looking at right here, and I like this is on irrelevant, and the reason why because if she if she gave two officers fellatio while she not on a job, that's her personal business. She can do that, whatever. So that's you know that's irrelevant. That has nothing to do with it. That's just irrelevant at best. I mean, no, it's, I mean, you everybody got their opinion on something, but hey, it's all facts over here, at least to the best of my ability. Woo! She was accused of sending new new photos, taking part in threesomes, even uh, bragging about her uh, one of the, the other officers, BBC. <laughs> But you know, hey, you know, everybody got something they want to say about this, which is cool. You can say whatever you want. It's not really not too much a big deal. Then guess, hey. So let's take it back here. Um let's 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 take this this word down the facts. Um if her husband ain't mad about it, can nobody else be mad about it? Now, as far as them saying she was on, on the clock doing it, well, yeah. If you're getting paid to do your job, you're getting paid to patrol the streets and whatever else, investigate crime and prevent crime, and you giving ahead and getting ran through, yeah, you know, that's, that, come on, that's reasonable. You know what I'm saying? You're on the clock, you just, you know, it's like the job abandonment. Now, what does it matter if she was somewhere getting her walls beat off? And some old lady got robbed, or you know, something, you know, whatever, anything, you know, you know, just speaking thoroughly. But whatever she did when she wasn't on the clock, that's between her and her husband. She could tell the husband, well, you know, I was with John, and, and you know, I, I got to see his BBC, and so you know, I was amazed by his immense size, and I wanted to swallow it, and blah blah. What? Hey, that's something between her and her husband. She got to tell her husband, hey, well, you know, I was cheating on you, blah blah blah. That's cool. Court of public opinion, who cares? Because most of the people that will say something about it, you can imagine the shit they do behind closed doors. You think this is bad. I mean, it's only bad if they're doing the shit on the clock. You know, they feel like you were still in time. You're getting taxpayer dollars, which is understandable. You know, okay, you know. But I want I want I want to say they um bad police officers. They just made some bad choices, but that don't mean they bad police officers, you know. It's cops that shot people multiple times and multiple different unarmed people, suspects in multiple situations that still got a job. And their biggest thing is, you know, is a fine. Maybe they just got a fine suspended. Well, some officers did get suspended, some did get fired. So I don't know. Whatever you think about this, just leave it in the comments. This is something somebody they really gonna be talking about for a while. So to, to the next time you see one of my live broadcasts, hey, thank y'all for watching. I got my cash app at the bottom. You can find me on YouTube at Ronald Reed. You can find me on Facebook, Comedian Delvillar. And whenever I go live, I put the comments, I put the link in the comments or on my main page, or it'll be in the comments. And you want to come in, you know, I'll send you a, a link. And you can jump right in.